Hello. I'd like to talk to you today about a meditation I've come across in yoga class. I'm offering this as something to help heal our world today. Everything that's going on, the, the challenges that we're all facing. I have been wondering, what can I do? What actions can I do to help those around me? In part of my yoga practice, I came across a loving kindness meditation. This meditation to help us feel better about ourselves and then to also to extend that love to those around us. Because we all want to be happy, accepted, um, believed in. And the thoughts that we have, the words we say, the beliefs that we cultivate all manifest. So if we believe someone is bad, then that's what we're going to see. If we believe someone is good or that their intentions are good, then that's what we're going to see. The only way we can make a change is with us and one person at a time who can soften their heart, who can open themselves up to possibilities can start making that change. So if you want to start this path and to, to practice or to try this, I'm gonna invite you to come to a comfortable seat. So placing yourself in your chair, nice and comfortable so you're square, planting your feet firmly on the floor or support, allowing your legs to relax, then maybe rolling your shoulders up, back and down. You can place your palms up, palms down on your legs, on the arms of your chair, but just not holding everything, just allowing yourself to be fully supported. And then in this time, you can close your eyes. You can look gently down at your hands at the table, or you can look at me. We're all in this world together. There's lots of changes that need to be made. Do I know the answer? No. Do I know something needs to change? Yes. I'm hoping that there can be conversations, hearts that soften, so that we can begin to start to heal to find a path forward that's right for everyone or for most. So as you sit, I'm gonna invite you to feel the sensations of your feet as they press into the floor. Feel your bottom, your legs as they are on your chair. Feeling the sensations of your hands as they rest on your legs and arms. Relaxing your face, your jaw, chest, belly. Now I'm going to invite you to think. What is your intention for the world, for yourself? Now I invite you to think about a person who has loved you unconditionally. It could be a person who's alive or dead. And as you think about that person's unconditional love to you, how did it make you feel? What was the experience like? And with keeping that in mind, say to yourself, I wish myself to live free from pain. I wish to be happy. I wish to live with ease. I wish to live free from pain. I wish to be happy. 
I really wish to live with ease. I wish to live free from pain. I wish to be happy. I wish to live with ease. As you let that thought go, taking your awareness to someone that you have loved unconditionally, the love you have sent to them, bring that person's image into your mind's eye and say to them, may you live free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May you be free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May you be free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. Now, taking your awareness to someone you're neutral about. Could be someone that you've met at the grocery store or walking in your community. Could just be someone you see, maybe it's your church, your synagogue. Noticing here, keeping that picture of that person in your mind's eye. And say to them, Wish you live free from pain. Wish you to be happy. Wish you to live with ease. Wish you to live free from pain. Wish you to be happy. I wish you to live with ease. Wish you to live free from pain. I wish you to be happy. I wish you to live with ease. Now on to the next. This is one that I'm going to invite you to be kind to yourself. Not to select someone when you see them, you get into a blind rage. But to start off with someone, maybe when you hear their name, you cringe a bit. And bring that person, someone you have negative feelings about, to your mind's eye. And think about that image of that person. And as you think about that person, say to them, may you live free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May you be free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May you be free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. Now bringing your awareness to our community, our country. Visioning all of the turmoil, the challenges that we're facing now, that we will be facing, that we have faced. All of that and send out. May you live free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May you be free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May you live free from pain. May you be happy. May you live with ease. Now I'm going to invite you to think about the world, not just the people in the world, but this world itself, the trees, the rocks, the streams, the glaciers, the air, the soil, the water, all of this world the one place we have to live. 
envisioning it. The people, the plants, the animals. And with that in your mind's eye, say, I wish you live free from pain. I wish you be happy. I wish you live with ease. I wish you be free from pain. I wish you be happy. I wish you live with ease. I wish you live free from pain. I wish you be happy. I wish you live with ease. As we take in all of this, we can only change our hearts. We can only live our life. But our life touches so many others. I wish you to be happy, to live with ease, to be free from pain. In God's name, amen.